Lars Miller, Rin, Jim and John, Necrotic Nick, Shred Lord. We are here with a new segment called the Round Table, the Thralls Round Table, and we could think of no one else that we'd rather launch this thing off with than Max Cavalera. Max, what's up, buddy? I feel like I, I know you guys forever. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's awesome. Dude, that's, yeah. This is good, surreal, but <laughs> yeah. absolutely yeah. awesome surreal, man. I, I think with the headphones a little better. There we oh, go. Okay. All nice. right. Nice. Yeah, well, I was saying is we were trying to think like questions and stuff, and I was like, man, we just kind of want to hang out. <laughs> you know, shoot the shit. Uh, <laughs> you know. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> but, uh, we're we're in 1989 backstage at a at a Beneath the Remains tour. Yes, yeah. oh. we're, we're just we're just hanging out, talking, shooting the shit. Yeah, yep. no shit, that's, man. That's Hell, everything. Yeah, that is everything. <laughs> I, I would literally be telling you, oh my god, Beneath the Remains is an unbelievable <laughs> album still today. Still today, yes. Like <laughs> my god. But, but, uh, the, it's really cool meeting you guys finally. I know it took a little bit longer to make this thing happen but as like as i gave the shout out on max tracks i watch you guys a lot i love it oh that's it. so fun you guys are you guys are the real deal you know it's like real fans talking about real things and uh, and a lot of times um uh oh <laughs> press a lot of you know, a lot of the other press is like a little like more like bigger stuff, but I, but I was talking to Gloria. It's like I really do want. I want to do Trolls of Metal. You yeah. don't understand. I have to do it. It's, it's awesome. I, I don't give a shit what. <laughs> <laughs> you make sure they they yeah. understand That's... a nuclear blast. That I really want to talk to them. You know, it's like we got to make this happen. Right on. So, so cool. So I'm here. Dude, yeah, thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Dude, about. thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, Ryan's already pissed himself twice. So the feeling's <laughs> mutual. <laughs> I still remember when um, one of our friends, actually someone in the comments on one of our videos actually said, oh my God, Max Cavalera just shouted you guys out. And I was literally in my car, <laughs> in my mom's driveway, just going, ah! Like just losing my mind, <laughs> and then I had to go on and check it out, and finally get it on Facebook, and I saw it. And I was like, "Oh my god, dude! One of my idols is watching me." Yeah, this right. <laughs> how, did, but, how does that work? I don't. Like, it, it's it's literally like you've been like at the beginning of all like the metal stuff for me. So like th this was like a really surreal moment, and then when we all found out and saw it, and like we were all just kind of blown away because I mean. Be your Max Cavalera. <laughs> <laughs> He's I mean, like, no shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, it is awesome. Thank you so much for <laughs> shouting us out and joining the channel. I, I, I yeah, I'm blown away. So Where you go, Nick? Yeah. 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 I didn't kill a signal, did I? <laughs> you killed him. You, you, you killed the Brent. signal. <laughs> you were talking so much that he was just like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, F these guys. No, oh, it's alright. Really it's it's fucking shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, there we yeah. go. Yeah, I can see you guys now. Okay. Oh, all right. cool. Technology's wonderful. It's it is. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Killing. It's like Voivod. Voivod predicted this. Killing technology. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah dude. <laughs> you know? We should have listened. <laughs> yeah, we should have. The last time we saw Voivod, yeah, we should have taken it to heart. <laughs> yeah. So how's the uh, press tour yeah. been with the Go Ahead and Die? Has it been pretty, like, pretty, like, I don't know, because it seems like they're just all asking the same f***ing shit, you know? Like, typically, how'd you get started and blah, blah, blah. Has it, has it been kind of grueling for you, or, or has it been pretty cool? You meet a lot of cool people. No, it's been cool. It's It's... To me, it's exciting because I, I did go ahead and die with my son, with Igor, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, it, was, it was really fun making a record with my kid like that. Um, so I'm actually, you know, pumped to talk about it to people that want to know. It, it's, and it ground album to me has a art to risk produced. And, uh, you know, of course, he did, you know, many, many cool uh, cult underground record like Power Trip, um, Inquisition. Yeah, Inquisition. Uh, awesome. He did. He also did some stuff with uh, Ghost Main, and he's just a cool producer. Um, he did the Cavalera uh, Psychosis, but uh, I'm I'm excited for the record. It's coming out in June, 
it is old school caveman death metal like a lot of stuff you guys talk about oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. They have the it's, Besseros oh dude yeah. that was ridiculous yeah, that was fun great. that was great I, yeah. dude the whole no f***ing lyrics thing yeah, yeah. I, I, I loved it and, and there were so many times I thought I could hear words too because of you guys you guys can Dude, I, I love that album. And yeah, yeah, there's I, no oh, lyrics, right? It's no lyrics, no, none, none. <laughs> none. And I, I don't know, there's something about that that was just appealing. It's like, yeah, they're just kind of doing the brutal knuckle dragon thing, but they brought the riffs, the, you know, disgusting songwriting. It was like, yeah, dude, I mean, maybe they don't need lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like Jamie Josta says, let a caveman live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, it, it's grunt. It's really grunt. <laughs> yeah, that's what I dig about that. Uh, the couple songs you guys released, man, it was like like old school. Like you see, like you've been saying in the interviews, it's like straight from like 87, 88, that era, just the sound and everything. And just, you know, because that's me, Motorhead and, and that punk, that fast punk uh, style stuff. And then uh, I like the influence. Like, but it's just good as a parent uh, of another parent. Dude, congrats on raising just fine Fine men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the interviews I've seen, they are, they're on point, man. So you and Gloria, props to you guys, because yeah. uh, uh, they're, they're a fine you. young men. Yeah, thank, and, you know, there's, uh, um, thanks for that. It's really great. And they, they are awesome kids. You know, Zion is playing drums with Soulfly. Oh, yeah. And I Igor uh, does, uh, you know, does the go ahead and die with me. And we also have my, my stepson, Richie. He's got an insight. He yep. has a pretty kick ass thrash metal band too um as far as the caveman approach uh, i think i always been a caveman because i played four <laughs> strings yeah you're right <laughs> that's yeah. the way to go man dude it, when i when i saw that you did that i was like how smart is that every time i record it's like these two strings just piss me off you know it's like you hear all that shit i'm like god damn it i can't like brutalize the guitar and get that tone because these <laughs> stupid pussy ass strings are ringing <laughs> dude, they're, they're decorative man get yep, the thick yep. ones yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a fun story about that. So it was a Sepultura practice, and I had six strings in my guitar, and then one string broke, you know, and then we kept jamming, and another string broke, and then my roadie at that time he's like, "Okay, man, you bro you, you broke two strings now. Um, we don't have that much money left. <laughs> uh, I, I can go, I can go to the music store and get you new a pack of new strings, or I can go to the, the bar and get some more booze so we keep jamming." <laughs> and I was like. You go to the bar, I'll keep jamming with four strings. I don't use those little strings. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. yes. <laughs> That's perfect, man. Thus a legend was born. Oh right. my God. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I kept it like that forever and it became, and it's, and it's funny because ESP, my guitar company, there's sometimes people buy the guitar, I guess the, the parent buy the guitar for the kid and they open and there's four strings and they call the companies like hey, you send me your you guitar man there's there's missing strings <laughs> that's hilarious those don't come standard in the max they model have to, they have to explain you bought a max guitar it's only four strings right? yeah, yeah. That's how you play, you know? dude that's really cool i didn't know they saw that through i would open that and i would be like that's that's perfect perfect right, right. that's exactly Exactly what I ordered. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but I think that's like maybe just a parent, you know, the parent open up and be like, right. yeah, they don't know. This guitar looks defective. <laughs> <laughs> there's something wrong here. I mean, I still... so, so you guys are all in Ohio, right? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Toledo, Detroit. Ohio. D Detroit, Toledo area. We're about an hour south of Detroit, so we're the stinky T below the dirty D. <laughs> are you guys Lions fans by any chance? No, Browns. <laughs> Browns. He's a Browns. I'm a Steelers fan, but, but I don't mind the Lions. They had a hell of a draft this year, going Pinnell Sewell in the first round, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm. I've been a Lions fan for a while since I, you know, because I, of course, moved from Brazil, and uh, I had to pick a team. You know, everybody here is the Cardinals, but I was like, I gotta get my own team. Yeah. 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 And I mentioned to Gloria I was gonna pick the Lions. She was like, "Look at me, like get ready to lose." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the Lions spirit right there. I'm a Browns fan. I can't say shit. <laughs> it's 
It's going to be a oh, lifetime of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Browns fan. Yeah. I hopefully, know it. hopefully the new coach and this new general manager have the smarts to turn it around, man. New quarterback. Oh, well, we're going after people's knees for our for, for <laughs> Yes. <laughs> just, just. Knee, knee, kneecaps. <laughs> just these beefcake dudes, man. Starts in the trenches, baby. Yeah. Lyle Alzado yeah. style ball. There's a moment in time I wish I knew more about sports ball. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I end up going to a lot of Lions games because I love football, but I'm a New Orleans guy. But uh, Detroit hockey, Detroit baseball, all the way. Yep, I grew yep. up on Tigers, Tigers and Red Wings, Wings around here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Indians, I'm a tribe guy, but Red yeah. Wings. So, but we, so how did you guys start the channel? Like, whose who's idea was it? <laughs> well, uh, it was Nick and I. It, uh, yeah. We pretty much, I mean, we would hang out and listen to music and constantly talk about it because we're obsessed. Yeah. I mean, we'll, yeah. we'll just go with that. <laughs> and, I mean, there was a lot of time where we just, like, hang out. We're, like, on my mom's back porch. We have a Bluetooth speaker going. Like, hey, man, I picked up this cool new album. And we would sit there and talk about it. And we kept thinking, like, maybe we could actually talk about it on YouTube. Because we saw a lot of other YouTubers and... I don't know. We kind of like the outlet. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm constantly talking about music. Like, I will corner anyone in a conversation <laughs> yeah, yeah. and talk their ear off. Oh, Nick's here. Well, there oh, like, oh, oh, four shit, hours. Man, he's going to talk to me for three hours. But we just kind of... I've seen some of your collection. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's obscene. There's there's a whole other room that I haven't shown off yet, and it's, yeah. it is obscene. That's yeah, I there's, think we're yeah. at... There's, there's more music here than there is at most record stores. Yeah. 8,800 yeah. CDs. 8,800. It's it's wow. too much. Sir, sir, you got a problem. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm, I'm or, fine. Or a solution. <laughs> I never run out of stuff yeah. to listen to. Well, if you do them yeah, yeah. I, I think it's great you guys did this uh like i said i'm a fan man thank you thank you thank you man <laughs> that's, that's my shoulder here's my heart it is, it is, it is cool because you guys you're funny too man you guys, <laughs> <laughs> i mean we, you guys have funny shit <laughs> Got to keep it entertaining. We're mostly entertaining ourselves, I think. Right, yeah. right. And it's just amazing that people watch it, at least of all you. Yeah. Right, right. And That's beyond true. amazing. But, uh, yeah, we just do it to pretty much entertain ourselves. Yeah. yeah. It was a real blessing yeah. during, you know, the last year or so. Where, COVID, everybody where had a lot of Where we couldn't do a whole time. lot of things, yeah. And the channel kind of yeah. saved my life in that sense, gave us something to do. Yeah, I mean, it was like a little bit of structure. And we also got like a lot of fan outpouring too, which was like, hey man, we've been watching your channel and this is kind of something to, you know, break up the monotony of staying inside and, you know, all the social distancing stuff. And it's like, well, I mean, thank you. I mean, it, you know, I'm, I'm glad this has kind of given you something to check out. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, it's been yeah. fun doing it. Like that's, that was the main yeah, thing. Yeah. I, I want to have as much fun as I do listening to the music as I do like, all this stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. been easy because we've all been really close friends for a long time. Yeah, now. 20 yeah. plus years. Yeah. You know, then uh, me and Rin have been in a couple bands together. Me and Noonan got a band. You know, we're jamming some ideas now. So Rin the only one I have, haven't played Rin with. Rin and I have yeah. been in a band for yeah. a long time. Mm -hmm. Yep. And speaking of which, I have to know, how the hell do you write killer ass riffs for 20 plus years? You don't run out of good 30, riffs, man. Yeah. 30, actually. How do you not run out of good riffs? What the hell, man? <laughs> I sold my soul to metal. <laughs> that is the right answer. Yep. I, 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 I'm, I'm just, I love this. I love it very much. And I really love metal. I love everything about it. Um, I love the fact that I get to do things like this, like get in touch with you guys yeah. uh, and surprise. And, and I love I love your reaction. It was so cool. It was so <laughs> exciting to see you guys excited about it. We're oh, trying not to fanboy. Right, right, right. <laughs> We're trying to maintain it. a level of professionalism here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit. And I, I always uh I always really love doing stuff. I remember one time we played Texas and we play um uh Gas Monkey. Oh, I was and, just there. Uh, I was just there this weekend. We, we're play outside. But I went to take a shower, so I went inside the big venue, and we used the dressing rooms. And I knew that Gojira was going to be there like three days after, and so I signed on the wall. What's up, Gojira? <laughs> Max, nice. Mag magma fucking rules. Killer show, you know. And uh, and then like 
I, two days later, I saw they post they post that shit on their Instagram all over. Like, <laughs> yeah. Coolest thing ever! Look what we found on your drive. <laughs> that's awesome. A little little piece of, of the wall. Like the Max wrote some shit for us. Uh, I just never lost uh, lost the spirit, man. Right. You know, the metalhead spirit, like you guys have it. You know, right, it's like that, right. the young spirit. Yep. Like you know, like. The whole world told you to grow up, and you say, "Fuck the world." Yeah, yeah man. man. I mean, all the nerdy stuff back here definitely <laughs> says I'm not growing up anymore. Right, right. Soon. <laughs> totally. I went, I went on tour with suffocation. I, I was telling, I was telling Terrence, "Give me a list of your ten death metal albums that may you be the badass guitar player that you are." And he's all like, "Are you, are you for real now, man? <laughs> 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 really, do, do you really want a list?" I'm like, "Yeah, you're really cool." <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Don't be nerd. Totally oh. nerdy now, you know. Exactly. Yeah, man. Uh, and and then you know, uh, a lot of times uh, I end up getting in touch with a lot of these bands, and and it's really cool, like uh, the interaction with them. Um, you know, wearing their shirts, doing right. the max racks, which is another thing I started <laughs> uh, during the pandemic because there was like nothing to do, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna play guitar in my living room for the fans for free. Um, I don't want to make any money out of it. Just it'd be just fun to jam for the fans and it's so fun to play some of those old for sure obscure rips you, know, yeah. I mean, yeah. you look like you're having a ball doing it and like yeah, yeah you kind of feed off that energy rights yeah, yeah. 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 you're uh your stream it's, of... it's in my living room <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll definitely want to continue uh doing it more um but yeah, I hope like the next time I'm in town, I get to meet you guys in person. We you know, will be there. there. Yeah, yes. if, you're, if you're in Detroit or Cleveland or Columbus or yeah. whatever, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll come. I'll yeah. drag a broken leg. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Dude. Hopefully hopefully, go ahead and die do some dates. So we're looking oh. at that right now. Sweet. Um, to try to get some something going for that. Hopefully like a little tour for, for the record. Uh, I, I, I would even, it would have been cool to even go super underground and get some uh, small level type bands uh, uh, that would like to, to to do a run with us, the yeah, same kind of sweet. kind of kind of kind of vibe like us, you know. Uh, so yeah, we're looking at it now. Hopefully, it looks like everything is opening a little bit, a little bit, yeah. to normal a little bit. Yeah, I yeah, think we just saw Deicide so, uh, yeah, launch yeah, their tour. Yeah, Deicide's doing a tour in August. At least it's coming here or Hamtramck, mm -hmm. which just outside of Detroit. But that's not until August, and I mean I'm. I'm still, you know, apprehensive about it, but I mean, I think it it, it all just kind of depends on how the world goes at yeah. that point. But I mm -hmm. I want shows back because we man. are ready. Yes, I I miss shows. I had no idea how bad I needed shows until I couldn't go to shows, and mm -hmm. it feels like a piece of me is missing. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, missing yeah, two yeah. Maryland it's, Death Fest. It's crazy. It's I never been that that that. At home for that long is kind of like yeah, I'm right. The shiny jet. I'm Jack Nixon in the shiny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Gloria comes in. You're just typing. <laughs> Get the back, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> All right, works. I gotta ask. Uh, favorite horror movie? Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. the thing. I still count as a horror movie. The, the, oh, the thing. Okay. So, 1982. Oh. It's it's brilliant. Special effects, gorgeous. Great ensemble cast. That's a uh, that's uh, John Carpenter, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. My brother got went to see him play live. Oh, oh, oh wow! Sweet, dude. That was so cool. Yeah. I love his yeah, his yeah, soundtracks yeah. were awesome. He, he didn't score a, that movie though. He got a shirt and everything. Yeah. It was like nice. Like, I was super. You're like, dude, that's awesome. Like, yeah, that is cool. Out of, out of metal, but you know, like total like next level shit. Mm. Uh, um. Well, it's important yeah, to like stuff yeah. outside of oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shred, what were you going to say? 1978, George A. Romero from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania's Dawn of the Dead. That's the mine, greatest too. greatest horror movie yep. ever. <laughs> yep. That'd That's be my mine, too. Show, probably. Uh, Exorcist. And then number two is probably uh, yes. Dawn of the Dead. Exorcist, man. When she's like crab crawling Dude. down the stairs, <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, fuck. The first five minutes of The Exorcist. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. 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 And my favorite horror movie, movie. Oh. Um, you sampled in a nail bomb track, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael yeah. Rooker. Up movie. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. It makes you feel dirty. It like, does. Have, you got to shower after watching it. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah, man. Uh, I, I don't know. Mine, 
I I think I have to go with Hellraiser. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. near every yeah. Yeah. every October. I watch all of them, man. Jesus wept, yeah. dude. Yeah. The yeah. Cenobites yeah. are the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm kind of weird where I think Hellraiser Two is a little bit better than the original, but that's I love okay. them. I love them both. Yeah. They're I got a I got a funny story yeah. about that movie because my daughter was probably about six. My my daughter Isis. And I'm sifting through movies to see what she wants to watch, you know, because it's Daddy Daughter Thursday and we're just hanging out, you know, sleep, you know, cuddling on the couch watching movies. And she's a horror movie buff ever since she was like four. And we're cycling through it. She's like, oh, stop, Daddy, what's that? And I was like, Pinhead? She's like, yeah, I want to watch that. You want to watch Hellraiser? Okay. <laughs> and she loved it. The, the part she didn't like right. was uh, when he was uh, like... Like he was like muscle and stuff when he was all muscle. Oh yes, yes. Like she, yeah. It kind of weirded her out. But yeah, my daughter, uh, she's totally into horror movies. Too. It's just yeah. cherry syrup. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a human son. It'll it'll grow back. <laughs> and of course, the the original. Uh, you know, a lot of the Stephen King stuff. You know, The Shining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, Christine. Um, it, yeah, Christine. Again. I, I love I, um, I love the Miss, Mr. Mercedes series they had on on they had on TV. Like not too long ago. I heard that was I good. Know, I, it. I didn't, yeah, it was I didn't cool. see that. Yeah, yeah. pretty cool. I'm gonna have to check my that son, out. My son Igor is a uh, really big into Stephen King, and uh, he writes books too. He's got three. Oh, mm. oh wow, oh. cool. Oh wow, yeah. I didn't know that. I saw in an interview that he he mentioned he's that he got, likes he's writing. Got a lot of brains. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I, I saw in an interview that he he mentioned in his free time he writes short stories because he's yeah. he's uh he's like a, a fantasy nerd like me man swords and dragons and and uh, he was mentioning some of the video games he's like I play that game I love that game <laughs> so yeah, yeah we could probably nerd out <laughs> once the album once the album comes out uh, I'll we'll, we'll be cool if you, if your guys are down to we can arrange one of me and him together oh, oh absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can, talk, we can talk about go ahead and die, and then movies and books yeah, absolutely. And yeah, yeah, that's I'm down. You're, yeah. you're right in my wheelhouse, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're all nerds. Nerdy, nerdy shit. I know. Yeah. We're all yes. nerds. Uh, <laughs> Horror yeah. movies and metal. Comic books too. How, how old is that Soul Flight tattoo? Uh, so <laughs> I got this. I think. It's either two th from 2003 or 2004, and it's old enough now. It used to have color in it. Yeah, but it was it orange. It was orange and red, but the color all faded out. So, <laughs> oh, like, oh, yeah. You may not be. Can you see, John? Yeah. Max? There we go. Yeah. Oh no, the camera is. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can see it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So yeah, it had like red and orange I in it. I can see everybody. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Miller. Necronic Nick and Shred Lord. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I got all the names right. You yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. <laughs> dude, I, I, don't know which, I don't know which name I like, I like the best. Ne Necronic Nick's. Necronic. Sick. But Shred, Shred Lord, man, that's yeah. like. Oh, dude. He, he, he can shred. He can He's shred. a hell of a guitarist. He's, He's, he, Gotta hang out with Mark Reeser. You guys will talk guitar. Oh, oh, I, I would, I would love to. That'd be cool, man. <laughs> His dick's I, out already. I, <laughs> I, I, I take my six strings very seriously, sir. Yeah, yeah. They, he had a girlfriend that was jealous of his guitar, and they oh, she's going. gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> She had to go with the guitar one. Yeah. Yes. The end of that. See you later. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, you know, I'm I'm just uh, I finished actually recording new Soulfly stuff. Awesome. Yes. Um, we did it with uh, Arthur Risk uh, again. Uh, he, he mixed the Go Ahead and Die, and it was just cool. Like going with a more underground producer. Like the the last record was Josh Wilbur was like Lamb of God and yeah, Red, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and before that it was like Matt Hyde. Uh, you know, he also did uh, Deftones, yeah. and I was like. I want to do something with somebody smaller, more underground, maybe go back to the roots a little right, bit of yeah. the metal. Um, so, and we did it during the pandemic. So uh, I think it's not, it's ain't coming out this year. It'll be, on, it'll be next year, but right it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty sick. I think a, a, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff uh, uh, in it. Um, I have a question for you guys. Uh, I, I know that um, it might not, uh, it, it might be a, a weird question, but do you guys have a, a, a favorite Soulfly record? Uh, any of you guys? Oh my uh, god! Um, god, I would have to, man. No, no, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> a, <laughs> um, I have a, a, 
Go ahead. It's, well, go it's ahead. either it's either the first one or the second one. Primitive's yeah. a hell of an album. I jammed Primitive right nonstop for a long time, but I mean, off the first record, dude. Um, the, right. Dude, I, I saw your I saw your first Commandment stream. That's like my favorite song off that record too. Mm, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Boomba. Boomba. Yeah. There's something Boomba. about the groove of that song and the, the giant kettle drums. Yep. Were they kettle drums? I don't, they're just a boom, boom, Bring this shit, right? <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah. Dude, it's, yeah. You just get stuck in it. I mean, it, that first album, and I, got, I bought it not knowing it was you, too. Because oh, I was oh, still really? like, you know, like I was like, man, Sepultura, you know, had the split and all that. But I saw this and I was like, I looked at it as like, I mean, it's on Roadrunner, therefore it should be metal. Should be at least, that's right. not a safe bet as much anymore. <laughs> but be. I flipped it over and was like, wait a minute. And then I, you know, realized it was you. I was like, oh, oh shit, Max is back. <laughs> and yeah, that album I, I just instantly connected with. Plus, you had all those cool guest stars on there. Like I was huge in a Fear Factory and Deftones. Yeah. Right? yeah. Maybe yeah. Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. connected with <laughs> <laughs> I, I still, I still own the album. I believe it's a great song. It I do like that song. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It, it still holds up, yeah, even yeah. though uh, you know the red uh, that, Yankees cap. That, that's cool. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. So there's. Uh, I was talking cool. to them uh, earlier. So there's three songs when I test out a stereo system for my car or whatever. The first one is always boom, because of that that real low that uh, it's on the one on boom. It's like do do boom that low frequency it's like a 45 hertz man dude if a system can handle that you got a good system and then yeah. war nerve war nerve from pantera and then uh miami sound machine <laughs> primitive was actually uh, produced by toby wright and he he was an engineer on injustice for all yeah yep. and uh a lot of the the alice in chains uh, records um so so yeah he was it was good sonically i i, I think it's uh it, it, it's pretty cool uh the stuff that came out of it um yeah it was just uh, it yeah. was just out of my own curiosity. oh but even right. like yeah. there's a lot of stuff out of the new stuff that i dig it's all like rituals are great yeah man. rituals yeah. awesome I, I, I like just jammed it again. Yeah. Pro Prophecy is a banger. Dude, the song Living Sacrifice. Right. Dude, yes. that yeah. last breakdown on it. That, like, I, I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Stuck that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's it's hard to keep up, man, but I, I'm 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 such a fan of metal that I don't let it go and and I'm I'm a I'm I'm a hard headed person. It's like I'm gonna I'm just gonna continue making records no matter what. Yes. Yes. We don't want you to hopefully, stop. Hopefully, oh, yeah, hopefully I'm in my deathbed. Right. I'm still making a record and then I, I get this it. demo out. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of one question I had. Would you ever like Slayer or Ozzy and Kiss threaten? Would you ever retire? No. I can. Man. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. lifer. Dude, lifer. The spirit be, of metal lives lifer, in here. Lifer. I'll be useless and I'll drive my family nuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey. They won't be able to put up with me. I'll be like, I'll be just getting into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could imagine music, you sitting there, you know, you're all uh, arthritis and stuff. You're like, no, play those notes higher, higher. No, yeah, no, no. The yeah. tribal beat got to go there. You know? <laughs> no, 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 not there, there. <laughs> yeah, mu music keeps me out of trouble. As much as much as it <laughs> kept me in, kept me in trouble with a little, you know, a lot of fun, uh, crazy. Oh, Two story like puking on Eddie Vedder and shit. Like right. That. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he probably had it coming. Yeah, somebody, somebody asked me about that the other day. It's like, is that, is that really true? Is that did you make that up? It's like, no, dude, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah, believe me, he remembers. Was hanging out with him, he was sitting next to me, and I was drinking a lot, and all the. Boots came back, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, and then right after that, I, I asked for out of effort, <laughs> um, and I and I told him I don't like Pearl Jam, but my sister likes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that is that's awesome. a great story. So I'm not gonna feel like an idiot when I meet you in person then. <laughs> because at least I won't throw up on you. Well we'll try it. We'll, 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 yep, we'll try not to throw up on you. <laughs> so so have you guys have you guys met a lot of your heroes? No. No, no. I mean, I have just through playing and going to shows, like the the big one for me was Dimebag. I got I to hang Dime. out with Dimebag. Fuck yeah. I never got I a mean, chance to. Nick and I 
go to so many shows. Like we've met a lot of people. Um, I, you I know, paid for some meet and greets too. Uh, mean Cannibal Corpse was really cool. I mean, I'm a you yeah. know, lifer fan there. Um, I met Opeth. I love that new record. That oh, so good. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Wow. Dude, so good. So Rudin flexed his muscles. I loved it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The new record's nasty. Yeah. Yep. Eric Rutan and Cannibal yeah. Corpse is a beautiful marriage <laughs> on guitars, man. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. But yeah, we uh, we ran into like a fair amount of people just kind of casually at uh, shows, mm-hmm. and strangely enough, a couple of them it was like, "Hey, you're the guys from YouTube." Oh, like, uh, uh, what? Uh, the bass player <laughs> of Aborted picked us out. Uh, <laughs> Stefano. Yeah. Stefano. Yeah. He. Uh, okay. He came up to us at a show, and he was like. Aren't you guys on YouTube? Aren't you guys the thralls of metal? And Nick and I were like, Why, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're an aborted, sir. You're, you're, no, we're, you're, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. So that, that's always mind blowing. Uh, you know, it's only happened a couple times, yeah. but it's fun every yeah. time. But I mean, in terms of like, I mean, uh, I'm going to gush here. In terms of like, the biggest stars that I actually had a chance to sit down with, you're yeah, it. You're it, yeah. yeah. You're it. And, I mean, in terms of someone that's, again, like your music has influenced like all of my tastes. So Sepultura was amongst the some of the first metal songs I ever heard. Yeah, yep. uh, Refuse, yeah. resist. Yeah. Uh, thank you for Chaos AD. Yes. <laughs> my life wouldn't be on the same without Chaos no. AD. Yeah, man. That's it. I was in junior high <laughs> when, I, when I discovered Headbangers Ball oh. and they played the Territory video. I'm like, who are these guys covered in mud? And they are pissed? <laughs> I am scared, but I want to know more. Yep. <laughs> here I am 28 fun, years later. <laughs> fun fact on the territory video, when we we're in the mud, in the water, covering mud, right. I'm screaming, right? Yeah. I had a bunch of cuts in my leg, uh, kind of like near my balls a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and, and it's alt water, right? So it's, it's oh, real salt. Oh, and, and shit. So it was hurting. My whole <laughs> leg was burning, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> That was probably probably so, perfect for that video. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so the intensity was genuine. <laughs> yeah, it was intense. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. And I had my son, Zion, with me, and he was, he was two years old. I think it was about, about two years old. Um, and we went on top of the Masada to record it. And um, we ran out of things to give him to drink. The water was all gone. All we had left was like some uh, Israeli Coca-Cola. So <laughs> we, gave, we gave him the Coca-Cola. And then one time I look, I, I look at him, he's in the ground, he's eating the sand. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing, <laughs> Wow. Man. That's so, hilarious. I mean, you, you win some, you lose some. Right? Really fun video. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it was a really fun video. Um, yeah, and, and, and it's crazy now to think uh, 27 years right. later, 28, yep. uh, we're jamming together, you know, and it's really, uh, really exciting, man. You know, for me, it's, a, it's a, a like a dream come true. I don't know if any of the guys have kids. Yep. Um, I got but, two, and then... Uh, one on the way in like a couple months. Yep. So, um, yeah, if it wasn't for COVID, I would have sent you an invite to the diaper party. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, COVID. Yeah. Yeah, you got to bring them up right. You got to bring them yeah. up, Matt. Yeah. And Actually, so, so what's it, your guys, uh, some of your favorite concerts you guys? Oh, oh. I, I will. Mine was. June 19th, 1994, at the Toledo Sports Arena. I'm wearing a reprint of the shirt. It was Pantera. Biohazard and Sepultura. I was 14 okay. years old and it was my first metal show. I saw Aerosmith before that, but seeing <laughs> you guys, Biohazard and Pantera at 14, amazing. My mind yeah, was yeah. still blown. And probably why my ears still ring. That's, uh, that's the tour we kept trying to get Vinny to play the drum jam with us. Yeah, the mm. Kiowas. Yeah. Yeah. He kept delaying, you know, he kept like watching it, like tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow will show up and he's not ready yet. The road is like, he's not, he's not ready yet, man. And, and I was like, dude, it's just a jam. Just got a bang on the fucking yeah. drum. <laughs> it, it's not, the bah, 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 bah. science fiction, you know. And then he finally made it. He's like halfway through the tour. I think by the time we got to Red Rocks, 
and Colorado. We got we got all of them on the stage. Oh. Uh, I think there's a video of that. There's a That's video. awesome. That would be. Uh, I've been to Red Rocks too. a couple times. That would be sweet. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. That was a cool. The whole tour was really cool. Like uh, that was when I was still drinking. So I. <laughs> Hanging with Don. <laughs> overdose on alcohol, man. You know, it was like a miracle. Um, yeah, Dime was every night. Let's go get some shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, when I met him, the first thing he did was he had he had one of those gallon glass things of Crown. He was like, hit this. And we just sat there shooting shit and drinking with him. But yeah, I would say mine was Pantera, Morbid Angel. And, and then uh, Soulfly. Yeah, yeah. Soulfly. Yep. And then... Um, yeah, now see, yeah. That, I did that tour. Then uh, I think by that time I was half sober, like getting more sober. Yeah. But he's still trying to get me to do shots. <laughs> of course. <every> <laughs> um, and he's still go going hard. Yeah. But one of my mo most fun uh, dime bag stories was uh, Roots was not out yet, but we had the tape of the whole record. Yeah. And so me and Igor, I think it was me, Igor, and Andreas, we drove to Dimebag's house. Uh, I think it was like a day off or something. And we went to his house and he had the whole stereo system. <laughs> like, we're going to go listen to Roots the proper way. You're fuck yeah. <laughs> he, puts the, he puts the tape on. He turns on the fog machine. He's got lights going. Yeah. It's like oh, a concert. Man. It's like a fucking concert. Yeah, that is awesome. awesome. The whole record, man. Cranked up to 10. And it was like, this is kind of surreal that we're in Dimebag's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We know the man. feeling before yeah. <laughs> before he comes out. You know this is pretty badass, man. Yeah, you know? that's yeah, that's um, got to be cool. Yeah, I went down there. That's why I went to Dallas. Was to kind of like, um, you know, see some of the the spots. Like I went to where uh, the old Pantago Studios, the original studio was, and then uh, actually it turns out we were looking. I was looking for a place down there because when you're in Texas, I want barbecue and I want Tex-Mex. <laughs> so I happened to find Campo Verde. And I looked in the inside, and it's like, there's Christmas lights and all this shit. And I was like, I was looking at it, and I was like, that's pretty close to Dime's house. And it's gaudy as fuck. Dime loves gaudy as fuck shit. And, you know, his inside of his house is all Christmas lights and shit. I was like, I'm wondering if he hung out there. And sure as shit, he did. So I got to talk to everyone down there. They shared some stories. I got to sit at the table, the round table underneath the TV where he sat. I had a black tooth, you know. So it was really cool going down there. But, yeah, we're... Well, Everybody in metal is a fan of Dimebag, obviously. So. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pantera oh, yeah. was huge. Yep. Especially for you and Igor, because you guys had to have an immediate connection. Because it's like you guys, the Abbots, and the Van Halens are like the three the brothers, brothers of metal, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and in fact, when, um, when the tragedy happened, I remember... Um, I, I, after that happened, I actually sit down with Igor and talk to him, and it was like it was just something like let's like let's um, let's really not take our, our brotherhood for granted. Let's really enjoy it because it can be gone like that, yeah. and you know because that was that was just a just a random senseless right yeah. Yeah. that yeah. should shouldn't happen, you know. Uh, but you know, always I had always great uh, great stories of Dime. Dime is actually like I remember. Um, it was my birthday and he gave me a, a pair of camouflage pants the lime green oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, it was like I know you like camouflage and it's not really the black and white that you wear but it's lime green new wave colors <laughs> I just want to go yeah. If you're not blending into shit, and, and, yeah. I, I still see you. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, uh, yeah. it was cool. He also gave me like a hundred dollar bill signed by Dimebag. And I was in Europe touring, and my kid was at home. And we we call home, and my kid like thought, was talking to Gloria. He's like, "We're out of pizza. I wanted to order some pizza. We found this dollar bill. It's got some kind of signature on it. Can we oh. just use that to order the pizza?" And I was like. No! <laughs> dime bag. There's dime bag signature on that dollar, that hundred dollar bill. You do not touch that dollar bill. <laughs> How did you get it? So like you touch that, you might as well pack your bags. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, yeah. That's so hilarious. What about some new bands? What are you guys jamming? Oh, you know, oh man. What, well, uh, I mean, what's some of your favorite new bands? Enforced. Enforced. Yes. Enforced. Yep. That is. That's. Cool. That be my my favorite thrash release this year. So Kill Grid. So, oh. so good. Frozen Soul. Frozen yeah. Soul. Frozen Soul. Yep. Oh. Been damn good. Yep. The new Hell Slave. Honestly, I, I, I've been listening to it even more. I think it's one of the best produced death metal albums I've heard this year. I mean, they got Dan Swano. Dan yeah. Swano is Dan Swano. Good. But yeah, I mean, it's it's Bloodbath Worship. I'm a sucker for HM2. I mean, you're rocking a Gate Creeper shirt. My right, yeah, God, yeah. their tone is wonderful. Yeah, yeah their guitar tone. Yeah, I, love, I love that. I love that, that new record. I, I, mm-hmm. I haven't I have a chance to talk to Chase yet. Uh, I run into him a couple of times. Because they're from Arizona also. Yeah. And he used to do venue promotions and, and book shows. So a bunch of times I ran into him. Uh, and yeah, Chase is really cool. Really cool guy, man. I like him a lot. And I love that that the new Gate Creeper. That thing is fucking awesome. That, that yeah. last song. That last Dude. track. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. The, the short song and love- the real long yep. song. Yeah. 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 So, Bewitcher, yeah, Bewitcher. Yeah, dude. That dude. Yeah. killer too. But. Bewitcher is just classic JCM 800 with Judas Priest riffs, man, and Motorhead riffs. It's awesome. Yeah, Killers vibes. I got. I mean, Killers is way up there for me in terms of Iron Maiden, and it gave me those vibes. It was like, dude, the harmonies are fucking wonderful, and it's still kind of snarly. Dug it. Yep. I mean, right. what about what about if I could if I could have a cast on a Soulfly record, which which guess what you guys think would be cool. Ren? Oh, that's, Ren that Ren. was one of the things I wanted to ask yeah. because you no, were... dude, he's got a killer <laughs> voice. Oh, yeah. Me, me. His, no. his, <laughs> his, his voice is on the intro. His, yeah. his death growl is ridiculous. Yeah, the, the actual clip that leads into our videos is actually Ryan and I's band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that track, man. Oh, yeah. thank yeah. you, dude. <laughs> well, yeah. That's this guy right wow. here yeah. singing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's him. Yep. Yeah. Um... But yeah, uh, yeah I, I think, think that, was, that was like a like somebody else. Song, yeah, um, or was that was like a whole other band song? But uh, no, it's really well, nice band. Yep. Hey, yeah. thank you. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's, I mean, wow. Thank you, dude. Wow. <laughs> Phil Anselmo is one of my yeah. vocal he- idols, yeah. and I know you guys obviously toured many times because I've seen you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for you guys to do a track yeah. together would be awesome because yeah. you had Rex super cool. on um, uh, Ultra Violent, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, yeah, Phil would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I think, too, if you got together, like, with Kurt Crowbar, do some real doomy sluggy. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. You, you and Kirk Winstein you, together oh, would. Man. Your voice You might would, break the world. Yeah, yeah that maybe. Think, I think that's too much. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're going to help the show. No, stop. <laughs> you must <laughs> let the riffs <laughs> madness commence. <laughs> we're going to fucking open a portal to some. Right. <laughs> Yes. Fourth dimension. But that would be sweet. That would yeah, be insane. I think Kurt, Kurt from Crowbar, man, I think you guys can make some really f***ing killer, doomy stuff. Your voices are on that same kind of level, and together, man. That good yeah. gravel. Just yeah. my head, too. I'm a yeah. big Kurt fan. I annoy him on Facebook, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we did a Soulfly Crowbar uh, tour a couple of years ago. Uh, and it was, man, they were just so heavy. Yeah. 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 Like, I had to take Tylenol, my head. <laughs> <laughs> the feedback. Oh. Too heavy. I love it. And and they used to uh, dedicate the Zeppelin cover. They did oh, no quarter. quarter. Yeah, no yeah, quarter. yeah, yeah. No quarter. They always dedicated that to me and Mike because me and Mike would be watching the show all the time. You know, like, <laughs> That's this goes, cool. This goes out to Max and Mike and the Soulfly Boys. You know, like, yeah, it was always cool. Kurt's so, such a so cool I knew dude. That they, they were all wearing. They were all wearing like one day. Some of them were wearing like battle vests. So I was like, I'm gonna paint those mother some metal some battle vests. <laughs> so I went in the store. It was like uh, one of those uh, love uh, truck stop. Mm, they had oh. the leather vest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, 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 I bought four of those and I hand painted. Nice. This is oh. a crowbar logo, really fucked up. <laughs> really good. Dude, I saw the drum heads you yeah. were doing. Yeah. Those, those are yeah, awesome. Yeah. So when I see you guys, when we go on tour, I'll bring some drum heads, you know. Oh, wow. Oh. One of, each one of you. Um, oh. You know, oh. You guys get, <laughs> you know, the personal ones. Oh, That's wow. Awesome. But, uh, get lightheaded. Yeah, it's kind of like thing I do just on the side, just fun. Just put some put some metal on and and draw uh my brother was actually a much better drawer 
uh, Igor really can really draw good. In fact, yeah. the early Sepultura shirts were all hand painted. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's cool. And, uh, we used to send them out to Chuck from Death and Trey mm-hmm. from Morbid Angel, and there's pictures of Chuck wearing the the Igor painted. Wow! Awesome. Oh, that is so That's cool. That's the shit. Awesome. That's yeah, when we get, we'll send one of these out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get you one of these. Yeah, we, we're still waiting yeah. on uh, the official batch of them. It's got a nice little slogan on the back: uh, "Sons of Midwestern Darkness." I guess that joke <laughs> stuck. <Yes. laughs> so what's up? What's up with the name? What's what's the, what's the name all about? Well, thralls of metal. We were trying to find a unique way to be like servant or something, you know, just grimy and metal sounding. And I'm a big gamer nerd. And so I played Destiny 2, which is this online alien shoot 'em up game. And one of these little servants are called Thralls. And I figured, hey, we're all servants of metal music anyway. What slaves about to it. Slaves. Yeah. Yeah. Why not Thralls of Metal? And for some reason or another, it just stuck. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, that yeah. became the thing. I, I still remember the discussion. We were sitting at the table upstairs, and you just said thralls was like because we were probably just playing Destiny, like <laughs> that. nerd now, baby. And I mean, it was a pro because yeah. you, if you saw these things, they're like gangly and they're evil looking, and they look metal as fuck. So it's like, yeah, yeah. why it gives not? me the opportunity to say thrallers all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah that too. Yeah, yeah thrallers. Yeah. <laughs> thralls out. I'm a thraller. Hey! 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 Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know, I know that when I gave you a shout out, I think that maybe I said trolls, trolls. I oh, was like trolls. Oh, we didn't even <laughs> care. <laughs> You're good, right, right, right. We didn't yeah. even care. We know what you were talking about, and we were it's my losing accent, it. Man, I'm, it's my goddamn Brazilian accent. <laughs> Dude, it's fine because I had to stop myself from rolling my R's because I grew up with a heavy Mexican Latin influence in my life with family members that were from there. And like my best friend Lalo was from uh, Puerto Vallarta and uh, stuff like that. So when I was doing the Arise thing, I caught myself the first time rolling the R and I was like, I'm going to get so much shit for that. <laughs> and I don't even know if in, in Portuguese you roll the R's. So I was like, I had to stop. Uh, it's bad enough that I'm like, Sepultura. Some, <laughs> some parts of Brazil do. Some part, uh, you know, the, the, the Sepultura name is real funny. I remember one time Kirk came and calls a spatula. <laughs> 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 yeah, but like it's Kurt Hammett, so you're like, yep, that's a that hey, spatula. It is, yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Great. <laughs> How do you go from Sepultura to spatula? <laughs> like, did you just glance at it? I mean, the, the curly hair. Legible. The right? curly hair is getting his way. <laughs> and then, and then, of course, the, the early tours, the, the first European tours. Sepultura. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how I pronounced it actually for the first yeah. like few weeks it's until Sepultura. I was corrected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm okay with the accent. I do that shit all the time. And I'm like white as. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, we're pretty flat and, midwestern. And on, the, on the on the same note, that was a killer uh, arise. I'm, I'm packing. Uh, oh. I have a vinyl collection. I I'm I saw to, that. Not as good as you guys. Not even <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> But but uh, but it's getting there, you know. I'm like I just got the 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 new undeaf record oh, that came out. Yes, that album yeah. is so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's a riff farm. I I don't yeah. I don't yeah. the off time drumming. It's so fucking fun to listen to. Yep. Oh man, yeah, lesions up of different kinds. Amazing. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> that was that was a year ender for me. Uh, yeah. yeah and then uh, um, so so my collection is is it's getting up there, but uh, I. Uh, on the same note, I want to congratulate you guys for the 6,000 subscription. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah. thank, you. Thank, thank you so much. much. <laughs> thank you. The fact that you're one of them is all that matters. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, uh, you know, more more will come to you guys. And Absolutely. You guys deserve it, you know, hopefully. Uh, but definitely, we'll, we'll definitely do more more stuff like this. Oh, oh yes. That Absolutely. Comes out. Uh, with, with Igor, we can really geek out. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that'd be uh, sweet. But like I say, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Uh, Thank you. Uh, of, of 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 the whole the whole thing. Don't change anything. It's <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Yes, yeah. sir. You got it. <laughs> Maybe I can talk you into doing some art so I can make a new intro. 
<laughs> all right, you do all some right. great, crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's dude. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. Thank I you so much for taking yeah, the time. Dude, yeah. wow. uh, uh, this is a, this is yeah. a memory that I will never forget. Yeah, and absolutely. I will cherish it. Yeah, absolutely. And the beautiful thing is, we're not done making them. So yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we'll be in touch. For we're sure. down to chat anytime you want to, man. Because this has been an awesome conversation. It's beyond yeah anything yeah. I expected. Yeah. Right. And God, this. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. I, knew, I, knew, I knew it was going to be like that. I wanted to make something really cool backstage oh. kind of talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was our thought, too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. we were like, we could interview him or we could just hang out. We were That's like, what we wanted try to do. Hang out. This is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's your thoughts on the new <laughs> sound? Silence, you! <laughs> you <know? Yeah. laughs> I mean, these are the conversations. And, you know, oh. uh, I'm looking forward to the the upcoming content, whatever you guys got yes. going up for it. I'm sure it's going to be killer. Um, and uh, we'll keep the we keep our friendship going, brother. Yes, yes. 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 that's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're working on the, the Napalm Death ranking, and, man, that's 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 tough. difficult. That's def- that's I, difficult. I, I love a lot of Napalm Death. Uh, <laughs> apparently. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. And then Cannibal yeah, Corpse. You know that, uh, you know, fucking Jeff, Jeff Walker, he made the cover of Scum. Yep. For, mm-hmm. for, for Napalm Death. You know? He actually drew the logo of Go Ahead and Die for us. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. I didn't Jesus know that. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he just made that out of the blue. Like, we didn't ask him to do. So it was one of those cool things like, all right, Jeff, cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I guess we'll use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I mean, metal, metal seems to be quite a community. Everyone seems like oh. they want to chip in and help. Mm-hmm. And I like it so much, I might get a tattoo. You know, I still don't have the Soulfly tattoo. I want to get it on my neck. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a, I have the Sepultura one in my back uh, done years ago. Yeah, you don't have that. Um, well, it's every band you've been in has, like, iconic logos. The Nail Bomb yeah. logo is awesome. The Sepultura S, the yeah. Soulfly. It, yeah, it's... That, that's a mark of a great band is yeah. an iconic logo. A brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just really love metal. I just want to play more. That's more and, and we want to listen to you play. Yes. More. Yes. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Thank, I mean, thanks. You. Thank you guys, man. But yeah. like I say, I'll keep always watching. And awesome. uh, I was really looking forward to this, man. You know, it's, thank uh, you. We were too. Since, yeah. since I, since I watched it and I made the first contact on Max Tracks, that shout out, uh, which was a, 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 a truly from the heart shout out. As you thank guys you. Can tell. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, you know, those, those kind of things, like, nobody's telling me to do those things, you know, we don't have, there's not like a big management right, or right. anything like, yeah, you know, those are my own things that I just do because I'm a geek. Like, <laughs> yes. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, you're one of us. Yeah. We're one of you. Yeah. Whatever. We're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah. We're, we're cut from the same cloth. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. But yeah, this, this was really cool. Hopefully, uh, the people out there got, got some insight on, on, our relationship a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sad, dude. Yeah, we're, we're all nerds. Going, man, you know? <laughs> yeah, we'll Absolutely. definitely be in touch. <laughs> yeah, thank you Absolutely. so much, man. And, and thank you. Get, yeah, give me a, give me a, give me a troll shirt, and then when I match you guys in person, you guys will get your own. You know, drunk. Oh, oh, oh amazing. dude. Oh. <laughs> so, hey, dude. When you're in the back here, we'll, we'll go to a Lions here. game. We'll, we'll hit up a Lions game. That'd be fun. <laughs> there you go. All right, brother. All right. Lions and Steelers. Yes. yes. <laughs> go Browns? No. Take okay. care, Max. Thank See you for brother. sitting down Dude, with us, Thank man. you so, so much. much, man. You are right, absolutely guys. awesome. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> that was the coolest right. thing ever. Yeah, that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we're still on. Hey. I need to. So. Oh, sorry. Wait, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're recording. That was. Uh, okay. That was great. Ah, yep. Yeah. That happened. That was a thing that happened. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. that happen? It happened. It happened. Unbelievable. That is oh. the coolest thing oh. ever. Yeah. Did you? Are you probably probably like, like, <laughs> I know. I probably look like an idiot on there. I'm just like. That's my breathing. That's my breathing. Am I breathing? Am I talking out loud? Yeah. But I was glad. I knew it was going to be just a bunch of nerds just wow. getting together and talking. And I mean, it was cool. I. I. I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I, 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 the nerves went away. Like he was so yeah, like personable. Like, yeah, person- yeah. It was like yeah. talking to one of you guys. Yeah, like we've known each other for years. Yeah. And I was like, what the? F- Ow. 
I know. I'm. 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 I'm it, it, it's, it's. Yeah. It's a little surreal. Uh, surreal. That. That is accurate. <laughs> whatever. Whatever he said. Note, if you want more of this, hit subscribe. Hit the notifications. We got Patreon. And uh, actually, if you were on Patreon, you would have got this a day early. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a fear burp. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to go change my shorts now. Yeah. Who shit in my pants? <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry. I'm coming for you. Who pants pissed? shitter. Who pissed my pants? You shit pants person. And with that, see ya. <laughs> <laughs>